Hey, what's up guys, Curve here, bringing you guys my last video of the day, and today's video is actually a tips and tricks video on the new DLC map pack of Zombies, Mob of the Dead, and today's video is basically, or at least, I guess this hour's video is going to be about how to build all the parts to the plane, or at least build the plane in Mob of the Dead. So first thing you want to do, right off the spawn, you want to go to the Warden's office and use your little kind of afterlife, and you want to basically use your afterlife and there will be something that lights up on the wall you want to jump through that and zap that little box and you're going to be able to get the warden's key once you get the warden's key you get your teammate to pick that up and everybody gets it so then I just quickly use the rest of my afterlife and zap that little voltmeter at the end of the door so it could unlock that times two so we or sorry max ammo so we'd get all this stuff and everything so basically guys that's how you do the first step of unlocking the uh, all the parts of the plane you want to get the warden's key because that's going to be very important and then once you do that you just follow the steps on the screen and you'll be able to basically do the rest but now let's actually get into the second step of the video and that is how to get the first part that you guys really really want to get and it's probably one of the most important parts or you're not going to be able to fly the plane so now let's get into what you want to do here so first you want to run and you want to get your friend or anybody to down their self so they can actually get into the afterlife and then they want to quickly zap the elevator or at least zap the voltmeter on the elevator so you guys can actually get down the elevator and then the once you zap the voltmeter meter the elevator will will turn on and then you can go back and revive yourself right there as I'm pointing to you on the screen so now let's get on to the I think second part which you or the third part which you guys need to do and that is turning on something the power on the tower or that kind of rhymes, power on the tower, but what you guys really want to do is you need to zap the tower, and to the zap the tower, you need to turn on one of the traps, so let's just wait till I get to the segment of the clip right up here, where you guys can see where I zap the tower, so first off, you want to go kill some zombies, you want to be down, take the elevator down, or the gondola all the way to the shipping yard, run over to the base of the tower, by where the box would spawn, and you'll see a little trap on the wall, you want to hit that, and once you hit that, you want to sprint all the way back into this little gate system you see right here, where you'll see one of the parts for the plane, you're going to go into your afterlife, make sure you get, make sure you have an afterlife, because it won't let you, but anyways, once you do that, just zap the box, and then you'll be able to go revive yourself again, and what's going to happen is, it's going to turn on the power for the tower, and something happens I'm not too sure I think that's just one of the crucial steps you have to do I'm not even too sure if that's crucial I just did that in this gameplay but anyways guys now let's get on to the third step so the third step is actually going to unlock a kind of it's gonna basically what you're gonna do is you wanna open this door all the way up to where you build the assault shield and then you're gonna use another one of your afterlifes and you wanna see on the gameplay right now I'm going around and I'm zapping all these boxes in the room you saw I zapped around three boxes there you need to zap one or three out of three boxes to actually shut down and sabotage the power once you did that it should shut down all the electric fences so you can get the I think carburetor part no yeah something the engine for the plane now the third or I think it's the fourth step you want to actually run up into the tunnel system so the tunnel system is by the power room you want to run out and you can find it when you look at the layout of the map die or sorry not die rise but when you look up the layout of the map or whatever it's called model of the dead but now the final part is you want to run down these stairs in the tower and you'll see right when I ran down those stairs on the left hand side you saw all the numbers to the you saw all these numbers and then once from the first one you're gonna see on the side of the tower you'll see when I'm running down when you when I was running down you might want to wind back you saw all these numbers so you'll see the first number then you want to put those numbers in correctly so you want to put the first number and the first box so keep zapping that box down at the very bottom of the staircase and then that'll change to one two three just keep zapping that till whatever number is on the first kind of wall and then the second wall and then the third wall do that correctly and you'll get the elevator to go down to get the third part so the third part is actually right here and it'll come down in the elevator and you can pick that up so I picked that up because I didn't have a part now let's get on to the, I think, I, I don't know what part we're on yet. Let's get into the next part. So once you're in the next part, you're going to need to get into the, uh, you're going to need to get into the warden's office. So in the warden's office, you want to go back to the front of the warden's office like you did to get the key. You want to go through a wall. Once you jump, jump up into the hole, you want to go to the far right. There should be another glowing hole. You want to go in there and you'll get to the warden's office. And then you see I used the rest of my... Um, afterlife here or whatever it's called to actually go and turn on the speed cola so once you're in there 
you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff and to my right you see that door right there that is the door it was actually full of electric it was actually electric fence and I had to quickly shut that off that's why that's why you sabotage the power and then you see one of the parts is up here in the infirmary you just need the warden's key to unlock that and you'll grab one of those parts and now we have three out of the four parts or three out of the five parts sorry and once you do that it's going to be pretty straightforward we need to now get the we now have the remaining parks which is now I'm trying to think right here oh no we still have to go to the roof so what you want to do is you have so many parts all your team is carrying parts or at least three of your members of your team are going to be carrying parts so what you want to do is quickly go into afterlife and then you want to go into the shower room of the infirmary or sorry not the shower room the kind of glass door room and you can get up through the roof and once you go into the roof turn on the little voltmeter by the door at the top of the roof and it'll open that door so you can actually go onto the roof and then you'll see that's where you'll build your plane there and once you build your plane you can actually or once you see the place where you can build the plane you can put the rest of your my, the parts that you have in the plane like I did up here see I run and then I basically put my parts on the plane so it works out perfectly now let's actually move on to the next step which is getting the I'm pretty sure gas canister so the gas canister is one of those steps that is actually pretty hard kind of cons you have to concentrate a little bit so what you want to do is you quickly want to get your friend to zap that voltmeter at that fence where you first went to go I guess zap the tower you want to get in there then you're quickly going to get your friend to zap that voltmeter so that second fence will open you're going to grab the propane tank and you're just going to fight the zombies off there for a little bit and once you fight the zombies off there for a little bit it's going to be pretty exciting you might get into a little bit of trouble with the zombies trying to kill you but you know that's not too big of a deal for you and your Thompson but anyways once that's done you're gonna wait a tiny bit till your teammate is revived or the next round starts you'll see right up here that I'm just waiting for my teammate to actually revive and the round to start so he can go <coughs> see now the round starting so now he's gonna revive a player it doesn't really matter about reviving but now the next round starting so what he's gonna do is he's gonna use his afterlife to get me out of there by zapping the voltmeter again to open up the door which is really useful and it just works really well but now let's move on to the third and final part is once you've got uh, almost all the parts there's one more left I just forgot the last part to get for the plane you're gonna have to go into the laundry room or aka the shower room so what you want to do is unlock the laundry room door or the big huge washing machine door and then you want to go quickly go into your afterlife mode I decide to go into my afterlife mode and once you're in the afterlife mode you're gonna want to sprint through the door that you unlocked all the way to the voltmeter once you're there shock the voltmeter like you always do and then go back you're gonna get your friend to turn on the washing machine or you're gonna get yourself to turn on the washing machine and once they turn on the washing machine what's gonna happen is it's basically gonna wash this type of kinda of clothing that you're gonna to use to build and get off the island through the jet so you'll see here the washing machine is gonna stop in a couple of seconds seconds the door is gonna pop open and my friend is gonna grab one of the kinda of jacket thing I guess prison suits or whatever they're called and then from there on you're gonna to wanna to build or put the rest of the parts that your team has collected onto the plane and you guys will see up here what happens and how it goes along so once you get on the plane you guys will see up here I'll tell you a little bit more about that once we get the jersey thing or whatever it is piece of cloth you want to run up get to the very top of the building again you see up here and just build the parts to the plane and once you do you want to get into the back of the plane and press X to start the launching mechanism and then you're gonna get on it and your friends are gonna all press X and then you should all get on it but we kinda of ditched these two randoms that we were playing with and we finally got on it and we shot off to the next island but anyways guys that's basically it for the commentary if you did enjoy and want to stay tuned subscribe like and I'll see you guys later peace